This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Generally, they see things that aren't there. But I don't want to make fun of them. It's nice to be taken seriously. Stephen Sondheim on scholarly studies of his work. This book takes Stephen Sondheim seriously. More specifically, it attempts to put Sondheim's work in conversation with its cultural moment. The two preceding sentences are more complicated than they may appear. The first complication is the notion of seriousness as applied to the musical theater. I begin from the premise that the musical theater can be studied with the same academic methods and intellectual rigor that are routinely applied to other art forms, literature, drama, film, opera, and other popular culture forms, TV, music videos, computer games. Sadly, there is still resistance in the academic world to the thought that the musical theater is a worthy subject for scholarly study. I hope this book will collaborate with other recent work to demonstrate that the musical theater can not only sustain the weight of scholarly scrutiny, but also reward that scrutiny. This is not to say that this book is dry. At least I hope it isn't. This project has been a labor of love, in the sense that in it, I bring together two different kinds of almost lifelong loves. The main focus of my academic career has been postmodern literature and culture, especially postmodern fiction, especially the work of Thomas Pynchon. This literature has fed my enthusiasm for the experimental and new, for the kind of literature that breaks the rules so as to suggest other ways of seeing and being in the world beyond the ones that have been officially defined for us. My other love for the musical theater began long before I imagined myself as an academic, when the national tour of 1776 came to Rochester, New York. I had seen stage musicals before, the one that stands out is Oliver, and enjoyed them, but what I had enjoyed was the story, the book. When the characters started singing, I waited impatiently for the dialogue to start again. But 1776 was different, or I was different. I not only enjoyed the songs, but also understood how they were helping tell the story, define the characters, and develop the themes. I was surprised and delighted by the way this musical took figures I knew only from statues and textbooks and turned them into real people. I had to have the cast recording, and I soon began collecting the cast recordings of other shows, classics like the Rogers and Hammerstein canon, My Fair Lady, Fiddler on the Roof, West Side Story, and reading scripts and histories of the musical theater. I had David Ewan's new complete book of the American musical theater perpetually checked out of the Avon Free Library. One day I saw the cast recording of Company in the library. I hadn't heard of the show, but I recognized the name Stephen Sondheim from the album of West Side Story, so I took it home. The opening number with its overlapping voices calling out to Bobby, was like nothing I'd heard before. Soon after, I saw the double album Sondheim A Musical Tribute, the Scrabble album, in the record bin at Woolworths, bought it, and was completely and forever hooked. I chose a college in New York City, not least so that I could finally see Broadway shows, and I joined my university's theater club so that I could act and sing myself. Seventeen years after my last college performance, after earning my graduate degrees, after moving to central Illinois, after pretty much ensuring my tenure, I auditioned for a local community theater's production of A Little Night Music, simply because I'd never had the chance to be in a Sondheim musical. I've been in several more of his musicals since. My point here is that while my academic interests have focused on postmodern literature, my interest in and love for the musical theater and for Stephen Sondheim's words and music have never been far in the background. In fact, over the years I've thought more and more about the connections between the two, postmodern literature and Sondheim's work. I've written a couple of articles and conference presentations on Sondheim, but this book is my most serious attempt to bring the two together.
to use postmodernism as a frame through which to look at the musical theater and the plays of Sondheim and his collaborators.